case of the video that we're looking at is 2013 leave insert higher level sec maths paper 2 question 8 uh, a port p is directly east of a port h fine p is directly east of port h it sails 80 kilometers in the direction given fine it then turns to an angle of 124 degrees i have an issue with that because the boat is sailing this way and starts the turn the angle that it's it turns through is not 124 degrees the angle it turns through is this bit which is 56 degrees but look you'd use the diagram in the question to go at 124 degrees and then this distance is 110 it asks us to find the distance from or to HP so the distance we take to be the shortest distance which would be the perpendicular distance so we're looking for this length y so you can see that you have a right angle triangle here now the only rules you can use in a right angle triangle the only rules you can use in a right angle triangle are Sokotoa down here at the bottom sine cos and tan or Pythagoras are you going to use Pythagoras in this no because you do not have this length you're interested in the opposite which is y and you have the hypotenuse and the angle so you're going to use sine and go sine 36 is equal to opposite which is y over the hypotenuse which is 80 80 sine 36 is equal to y y is equal to 80 sine 36 and we have 47 kilometers alternatively you could have found this to be 20 by subtracting the 124 and 36 from 180 and then doing the exact same sign of 20 uh, is equal to y over 110. Calculate hp, the length hp. Okay, so clear off the diagram again. The length from h to p here to here. So just two ways you can do it. You can either use the sine rule because we know a side and its opposite uh, angle. So we can use the sine rule. Uh, we would go A over sine 124 is equal to B over sine 36. So A over A over sine A is equal to B over sine B. That's A over sine 124. It's not 124. 1, 2. It's not 124 either. 124 is equal to B, which is our 110 over sine 36, I think it was. 36, yeah. Sine 36. So A is equal to sine 124. 110 over sine 36. A is equal to. It's 100, 155 kilometers. You could have also used the sign rule. Uh, we should call it the distance h to p is 155 kilometers. Um, and finally, the last question. The point T is directly east of the point or. H to T is 110 kilometers. And T to P is 80 kilometers. Find OR to T. Okay, well what do we need to do first? Is to, is to superimpose the information that we already know. So this was our previous diagram. 80, 110, 36, and I think we had 124 up here. So you can see some similarities between them. They're actually going to be identical triangles because they also contain the length HP. So we also know this is 124 and that this is going to be 36 degrees because it's beside the 80. So what we're really looking for, if I was to drop perpendiculars down, is the distance from this point, um, what do I call it? J 
and k. I'm really looking for the distance between j and k. Okay, well, what do I know about this distance here? This full distance has already been found to be 155 kilometers. Could I find this distance by using this triangle? Yes. I could go cos 36 is equal to the adjacent, which is hj over 80. hj is equal to 80 cos 36. hj is equal to 80 cos 36. 64.7 kilometers. And similarly then, you don't actually have to do it on the other side because it's an identical triangle. P to K will also be 64.7 kilometers. So then you end up going, well, JK is equal to RT, which is equal to 155 minus 64.7 times 2. So or t is equal to 155 minus 2 times 64.7. You get 25.6 kilometers. And that's it done. Now, it's actually a really bad question because there's an awful lot of options. If we look at the marking scheme, because of the mistake that I pointed out, there are two valid answers for the first question. There are, I think, th four valid answers for the next question. No, one, five, five, yeah, five, six, seven different ways of doing it, but how many different valid answers? One, two, three, four, definitely. Four definite different valid answers. And the last question, again, there's so many different ways of doing it. So, look, I would, if I were you, I'd worry more about um, sooner exam questions as opposed to going as far back as 2013. But it's just good to raise it as a point that sometimes there can be mistakes in the exam questions and it would probably be read out on the day uh, for you as an errata to the paper. Anyways, I hope you haven't found this question too difficult or put too much effort into it because as I said, there's more important things to be worrying about than um, a weird question like this.